okay so question number 1 says a rectangular column of 200 mm wide and 100 mm thick so there is one rectangular column the dimensions are given this is 200 and this is 100 the dimensions are given in mm okay so it carries a point load of 180 kilo newton so it is carrying a load of 180 kilo newton at an eccentricity of 100 mm in the plane bisecting the thickness ठीक है, so if you read the question properly, it is given as the 100 mm is the thickness, and in the second statement it is given that the point load is present on the axis bisecting the thickness. तो पहले अपन दोनों ही axis draw करो, this is the x axis and this is the y axis, and यहाँ center point is the centroid. Okay, so now the load which is acting on this column is present on the x axis because it is bisecting the thickness 100 mm okay ta jo arrow represent karto hai yacha var load hai at what distance is that load it is at an eccentricity of 100 mm so this distance will mark this point and this distance is the eccentricity e i hope this much is clear now this is the main axis passing through the centroid and this is the axis of the actual load the actual load is acting on this axis the value of load is this p and ye p ki value dil liye 180 kN so this is 180 kilo newton so the dimensions are given the value of load is given eccentricity value is also given now we have to calculate the we have to calculate the maximum and minimum stresses in the section maximum and minimum stresses in the section so in the assignment this question number 2 first step is to write the given सो so, का गिवन दिल लोड पी इज इक्वल टू वन एटी किलो न्यूटन लोड पी इज इक्वल टू वन एटी किलो न्यूटन इसेंट्रिसिटी ई द वैल्यू इज हंड्रेड एम एम the value of eccentricity is 100 mm then the dimensions of rectangle is given b and d so b is 200 mm and d is 100 mm okay so these are the given things now the next point is to find काय काढायचं आहे आपल्याला क्वेश्चन मध्ये सो दोन गोष्टी काढायच्या आपल्याला फर्स्ट आहे मॅक्सिमम स्ट्रेस मॅक्सिमम स्ट्रेस मॅक्सिमम स्ट्रेस सो वी डिनोट दिस बाय सिग्मा मॅक्स second thing is minimum stress minimum stress ani ela question denote karto apan sigma minimum theek okay? hai so these two things we have to find now whatever the formulas we know we will write those formulas 
so we know that we know that maximum stress so you should write the full form okay maximum stress is equal to what is the formula for maximum stress maximum stress is equal to direct stress direct stress plus bending stress direct stress plus bending stress okay so this we can write it like this maximum stress sigma max is equal to direct stress sigma naught or sigma zero plus bending stress sigma b so this is the first important equation next i have minimum stress the formula minimum stress what is the formula for minimum stress minimum stress is equal to direct stress minus direct stress minus bending stress maximum madhe plus asto मिनिमम मध्य माइनस अस्तो ठीक है माइनस बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस सो वी कैन राइट इट लाइक दिस सिग्मा मिनिमम इज इक्वल टू डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेस सिग्मा नॉट माइनस सिग्मा बी दिस टू आर द वेरी इंपोर्टेंट फॉर्मूलास फ्रॉम दिस यूनिट ओके दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर टू सिग्मा मैक्स और सिग्मा मिनस का डाइज़ है आप लोगों का। सो फर्स्ट वील फाइंड आउट इंडिविजुअली व्हाट इज़ द वैल्यू ऑफ़ सिग्मा नॉट। सिग्मा नॉट इज़ इक्वल टू फोर्स पी डिवाइडेड बाय एरिया। डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेस इज़ इक्वल टू फोर्स डिवाइडेड बाय एरिया। व्हाट इज़ द वैल्यू ऑफ़ फोर्स now this area is the area of this cross section area of the cross section whatever this area is there area of rectangle that we have to write it there so area of rectangle is b into b into d what is b 200 and d is 100 so 200 into 100 so 200 into 100 so if you calculate this you should get 9 Newton per mm square 9 Newton per mm square similarly bending stress Sigma B can be written as m y divided by I or m by Z now this m is movement that is force into distance and that distance is eccentricity e this y value is a y value ahe. this y value is nothing but this value b divided by 2 distance from centroid to the extreme fiber so it is b divided by 2 that is 200 divided by 2 now to decide whether to take ixx or iyy we have to take the we have to take the concept of bending axis Ki about which axis the bending is taking place so the bending is taking place about y axis y axis cha about jahe te bending hota hai so we will have to take the i y y value okay substituting the values p is 180 into 10 to the power 3 eccentricity e is 100 mm so 100 the value of b is 200 divided by 2 so this is 200 divided by 2 
divided by i y y okay so to calculate i y y we will have to do 100 that is bd cube by 12 100 into 200 cube divided by 12 100 into 200 cube divided by 12 so if you solve this you should get the answer as 27 newton per mm square 27 newton per mm square okay sigma not the sigma is the now substituting the formulas in equation number one and equation number two sigma max that is maximum stress is equal to sigma naught plus sigma b what is the value of sigma naught 9 what is the value of sigma b 27 9 plus 27 is 36 newton per mm square so this is the value of maximum stress similarly sigma minimum is equal to sigma naught minus sigma b sigma naught chi value is 9 sigma b value is 27 9 minus 27 is minus 18 so this is minus 18 newton per mm square this is the final answer for this question okay so given to find then writing the formulas substitute the formulas and get the final answer Okay, so now we'll see the next question. So next question is also same. I'll read the question first. A rectangular pier, 1000 into 1500 mm, is subjected to compressive load of 500 kilonewton with an eccentricity of 250 mm bisecting the 1000 mm side we have to calculate the maximum and minimum stress intensities same i have question first we'll draw the diagram so this is the column in this question it is given as a pier so pier is also a column which is having high diameters or we can say a large size column now what are the dimensions of this the dimensions which are given are the dimensions which are given are 1000 and 1500 mm so according to our diagram we are drawing it like this this is 1500 mm and this is 1000 mm you should write the dimensions when you are solving the problem okay so these are the dimensions now drawing the axis this is y axis and x axis and the center point is the centroid of rectangle. Now it is given question with delay key a compressive load of 500 kilonewton is acting at an eccentricity of 250 mm. Point load ji location after find out karachi. Next statement kaya. It is present along the axis bisecting the thousand mm side. Bisecting the thousand mm side. Manje thousand mm side ja hai. This thousand mm side. Yala bisect karata. So this is the line. So our force is present on this line. Now what is the distance of our force? It is given as E is 250 mm. So this distance, this distance is the E and this is the location of the force. This is the location of the force. So this is the centroidal axis. And this is the location of force P. Force G value is 500 kilo newton. 500 kilo newton. Okay. So now everything is clear. Now quickly start writing the given. 
सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री गिवन पी इज इक्वल टू फाइव हंड्रेड किलो न्यूटन ई इज इक्वल टू इसेंट्रिसिटी इज टू फिफ्टी एम एम बी इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड एंड डी इज इक्वल टू थाउजेंड So these are the given things. Now, what we have to find? To find, so you write down maximum stress sigma max. You write down it completely. Okay, maximum stress sigma max and minimum stress sigma minimum. Now next is writing the formulas same as we did in the previous question. We know that. The answer is here. मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस सिग्मा मैक्स मैक्सिमम स्ट्रेस सिग्मा मैक्स इज इक्वल टू डायरेक्ट स्ट्रेस प्लस बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस एंड खाली राइट इट डाउन लाइक दिस सिग्मा मैक्स इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा नॉट प्लस सिग्मा बी सो दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन सिमिलरली मिनिमम स्ट्रेस इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा नॉट माइनस सिग्मा बी खाली लिया सिग्मा मिनिमम इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा नॉट माइनस सिग्मा बी So now individual will calculate sigma naught is equal to force divided by area. Force divided by area. Force is 500 kilo newton. So 500 into 10 to the power 3 divided by area is B into D 1500 into 1000. 1500 into 1000 mm. सो ये कैलक्युलेट जर के अपन तो इट शूड कम जीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर नाउ नेक्स्ट इज बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस सिग्मा बी एम वाय बाय आय और एम बाय जेड एम इज पी इन टू ई पी इन टू ई नाउ इन दिस केस वाय इज वाय इज दिस डिस्टन्स ओके दैट इज बी डिवाइडेड बाय टू B divided by two. B is fifteen hundred divided by two. Ata, what to take? I x x or I y y in this case same by using the bending axis concept. Bending axis concept there properly, so we can say that it is bending about the axis is y axis. So this axis is there. So it is. D B cube by twelve, D B cube by twelve. Substituting the formulas, P is five hundred kilo newton. Value of E is two fifty. B is fifteen hundred divided by two. Divided by B D B cube by twelve. So D means thousand into fifteen hundred cube. This whole is divided by twelve. So if you solve this, yalla solve zar ke yalla the answer yalla paaje zero point three three newton per mm square. ठीक है, so both direct stress and bending stress are same, so sigma max value substituting this in equation number one, you should write here substituting this in equation number one and two, we will get sigma max is equal to sigma naught plus sigma b, sigma naught की value कितनी है 0.33, अने sigma b ची पन value है 0.33, so 0.33 plus 0.33 is 0.66 न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर नाउ नेक्स्ट इज सिग्मा मिनिमम सिग्मा मिनिमम फॉर्मुला वी हैव डिराइव सिग्मा मिनिमम सिग्मा नॉट माइनस सिग्मा बी दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री थ्री माइनस 
zero point three three. That is zero. Okay. So finally, what is the answer? जे का आंसर है तो आप लोग आंसर कैसे का ब्लॉक मध्य जो है यू शुड प्रेजेंट लास्ट मध्य दैट इज सिग्मा मैक्स इट इज जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर सिग्मा मिनिमम इज इक्वल टू जीरो So this is the solution for the third problem. Okay, so now we'll start the fourth problem. Fourth problem is somewhat tricky. थोड़ा सा tricky आए. So pay attention. So a column is given same, but in this case the column is the shape of the column cross section is hollow rectangular column. कैसा है? Hollow है. So this is our normal rectangle, and this is the hollow rectangular shape. Okay. So, a short column of hollow rectangular section has external dimension 2.4 meter by 1.8 meter. So, this larger dimension is 2.4 meter. The shorter dimension is 1.8 meter. You can also write this in mm also. Okay, 2400 mm or 1800 mm. Now, these are the external dimensions. ये एक्सटर्नल डायमेंशन्स ला अपन कैपिटल में देलियो कैपिटल बी एंड कैपिटल डी ठीक है मंजे जो बाहर सर एक्टेंगल आए तेजे डायमेंशन आता आत्मर लस वो एक्टेंगल आए तेजे का ठहराए जमा स्मॉल बी एंड स्मॉल डी स्मॉल बी एंड स्मॉल डी नाउ वन मोर इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज गिवन दैट इज थिकनेस � ये दोन एरोज मतलब जो डिस्टेंस आए, दिस डिस्टेंस इज़ द थिकनेस। तो बगैर थिकनेस वर पन आए, अन्य इतने खालून पन है ना? सो दिस इज़ आल्सो द थिकनेस। सो इफ वी नो द थिकनेस, वी कैन फाइंड आउट द वैल्यूज़ ऑफ़ स्मॉल बी एंड स्मॉल डी। ओके? नाउ व्हाट इज़ द लोकेशन ऑफ़ लोड? from the geometric axis bisecting the longer side at the longer side going to a 2.4 meter the polydony axis draw killer this is x axis this is y axis the quantity axis were I present after load it is on present on the axis bisecting 2.4 meter 2.4 meter bisect quanta karate he line karate so the load is present on this line so it is present at some distance and that distance is e okay so it is present at this distance now we'll start writing so this is question number four given what is the value of p p is given as 500 kilo newton P is given as 500 kilo newton. Then eccentricity is given. E is 30 mm. 30 mm. Capital B value. अतः capital B का यह इधर diagram में दाखुन दाया था. Okay, so that's why I have given it here. Capital B is given 2.4 meter. So we'll convert it into mm. 2400 mm. 1 meter is equal to 1000 mm d is equal to 1.8 meter that is 1800 mm now small b atma rectangle b is equal to capital b 
minus 2 times the thickness. Capital B is 2400 minus 2 times the thickness. So we'll write the thickness also. Thickness delay question mode. Thickness is 20 mm. So this is 20. So 2400 minus 40 that is equal to 2360 2360 mm 2360 mm similarly small d is equal to capital d minus 2t capital d kitiya 1800 minus 2 into 20 that is 40 1800 minus 40 is 1760 mm 1760 mm. What is the next step? To find. To find the statement. The maximum stress sigma max. The first question that's why I'm not writing. And minimum stress sigma minimum. Okay. Then again write down the same thing. We know that direct stress, maximum stress is equal to direct stress plus bending stress and techa khali liya cha, sigma max is equal to sigma naught plus sigma b next statement kaya ma next statement is minimum stress is equal to direct stress minus bending stress and techa khali sigma minimum is equal to sigma naught minus sigma b minimum stress is equal to sigma naught minus sigma b Equation number 1, equation number 2. Now direct stress sigma naught. Force divided by area of cross section. Kaya force chi value? 500 kilo newton. 500 kilo newton. So that is 10 to the power 3. Ata baka hai hollow jawa jawa ala, teva thoda sa jaya hai area karta na. You be careful. Whenever the hollow section is given. At the hollow section, the cross sectional area, manje, we will have to subtract the outer area minus inner area. Outer area minus inner area. That means the area in this case is equal to B into D, capital B into capital D minus small b into small d. Outer area minus inner area. So write down the same thing here also. Outer area kiti hai? Capital B is 2400. Small or capital D is 1800. Capital B into capital D minus small b into small d. Small b chi value hai? 2360. 2360 multiplied by 1760. 6, 0. Okay. So now if you calculate this, you should get the answer as 3 Newton per mm square. 3 Newton per mm square. Next is bending stress. My divided by I. My divided by I. M manje P into E. P into E. Now in this case, in this case, the y value will be capital D divided by 2, this distance. Capital D divided by 2. So, capital D divided by 2. At the ixx gaiza ki iyy gaiza, how to decide it? Same by using the bending axis concept. So, in this case, the bending axis is xx axis. According to our problem, okay. Baga to me, sir, problem so orientation vega draw killer. Tita ix x jagi iyy u shakte. So it depends on how you draw this. Kuni kuni, they can draw 1.8 here and 2.4 here. So then the ixx and iyy can change, okay. Now substituting the values p is 500 into 10 to the power 3. Eccentricity e is 30. Multiplied by D divided by 2. D is capital D is 1800 divided by 2. 
नाउ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट इज आई एक्स एक्स ठीक है हा प्रॉब्लेम जो है इट इज ओनली फॉर दिस कैलक्युलेशन ऑफ आई एक्स एक्स सो फॉर हॉलो रेक्टैंगुलर सेक्शन व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एक्स एक्स इन दिस केस ओके सो फॉर दैट वी शुड नो व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई एक्स एक्स फॉर नॉर्मल रेक्टैंगल सो वॉट इज द फॉर्मुला बी डी क्यूब बाय ट्वेल्व ठीक है बी डी क्यूब बाय ट्वेल्व बट एज देर आर टू रेक्टैंगल्स दोन रेक्टैंगल्स है आउटर रेक्टैंगल ऐसी मुवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया माइनस इनर रेक्टैंगल ऐसी मुवमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया सो फॉर आउटर रेक्टैंगल वी विल यूज बी डी क्यूब बाय ट्वेल्व सो कैपिटल बी डी क्यूब बाय ट्वेल्व माइनस स्मॉल बी डी क्यूब बाय ट्वेल्व सो दिस इज द फॉर्मुला फॉर आई एक्स एक्स ओके नाउ सब्सटीट्यूट इट हियर अलॉन्ग विथ द वैल्यूज कैपिटल बी वैल्यू इज टू फोर जीरो जीरो डी इज एटीन हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेल्व सो बी डी क्यूब बाय ट्वेल्व माइनस सेम बी डी क्यूब बाय ट्वेल्व पन स्मॉल बी सो स्मॉल बी इज टू थ्री सिक्स जीरो टू थ्री सिक्स जीरो इंटू डी क्यूब वन सेवन सिक्स जीरो क्यूब डिवाइडेड बाय ट्वेल्व ओके सो सॉल्व दिस ऑन सॉल्विंग दिस यू शुड गेट द एंसर एज जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर नाउ सब्सिट्यूटिंग दिस वैल्यूज इन इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड इक्वेशन नंबर टू सिग्मा मैक्स इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा नॉट प्लस सिग्मा बी सिग्मा नॉट ची वैल्यू इज थ्री एंड सिग्मा बी इज जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर सो थ्री प्लस जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर इज थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर सिमिलरली सिग्मा मिनिमम इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा नॉट माइनस सिग्मा बी दैट इज थ्री माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन फोर दैट इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट एट सिक्स न्यूटन पर एम एम स्क्वेर ओके सो दीज आर द फाइनल वैल्यूज फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन आई होप इट इज क्लियर okay so the last question now that is question number 5 remaining questions we'll discuss in the next video so a vertical column is given or a column is given okay so in this column on this rectangular column 300 mm wide and 200 mm thick so this is 300 this is 200 an axial load of 180 kN is given an axial load of 180 kN is given ata axial load manje kay axial load means the load is acting at the axis of at the axis of the column so this is the axis of column on this axis only a load is acting and the value of that load is 180 kN okay so it is given as 180 kilo newton now along with this along with this axial load there is a clockwise movement of 2.8 kilo newton meter ata hi je gosht hai this is extra given on this question so there is one movement which is given m directly and the value of this m is 2.8 kilo newton meter 2.8 kilo newton meter 2.8 kilo newton meter now the location of that load is on the plane bisecting the 200 mm the location of the axial load was on the plane bisecting the 200 mm axis so here 200 mm axis hai manje ya axis var ahe load to 
so to get the idea of eccentricity this statement is given so let's say this is the initial position of this point load so ha 180 kilo newton jo ahe ha ithun shift kelela ahe ikade after shifting this we have got the 180 kilo newton force along with the moment 2.8 but the original position was here this distance okay now so this is question number 5 so first write down the given things what is given p value is given 180 kilo newton directly m value is given that is p into e 2.8 kilo newton meter then given the value is p is equal to 300 mm and d is equal to 200 mm okay so what we have to find to find mate to find write down here maximum stress sigma max and minimum stress sigma minimum previous questions madhe lilela hai that's why i'm not writing here okay the next step is we know that maximum stress is equal to direct stress plus bending stress and techa khali write liya asa sigma max is equal to sigma not plus sigma b similarly minimum stress is direct stress minus bending stress that is sigma not minus sigma b so this is equation number 1 equation number 2 so sigma not value direct stress ki value kashi kadayche p divided by a p divided by a so value of p is 180 kN so 180 into 10 to the power 3 divided by area is 300 into 200 300 200 300 200 so on calculating this you should get the answer as 3 newton per mm square okay similarly sigma b m y by i okay m y by i. now directly the value of m is given in the question 2.8 kilo newton meter ata sagya values apan newton ani mm madhe takto hai so convert this into newton mm so 2.8 instead of this kilo write 10 to the power 3 and in 1 newton 1 meter is equal to 10 to the power 3 mm 1000 mm so again it will be 10 to the power 3 newton mm so that is 2.8 into 10 to the power 6 newton mm okay so now substitute here 2.8 into 10 to the power 6 into y value y value so this is the value of y that is b divided by 2 b divided by 2 so kitiye b 300 divided by 2 now which value we should take ixx or iyy it is iyy okay iyy so directly formula likho ata mi that is 200 into 300 cube divided by 12 so on solving this you should get the answer as 0.93 newton per mm square okay now substituting these values in equation number 1 and equation number 2 sigma max is equal to sigma not plus sigma b sigma not is 3 plus sigma b is 0.93 that is 3.93 newton per mm square sigma minimum is equal to sigma not minus sigma b that is 3 minus 0.93 this is equal to 2.07 2.07 newton per mm square itka zalyavar khali asa liyaycha answer okay whatever the question is given at last you should write answer and whatever the final values which were asked in the to find the to find madhe je je lihila hai tumhi he directly ithe lihaycha sigma max 3.93 newton per mm square and sigma minimum 2.07 newton per mm square okay and then highlight this so these were the first five questions of the assignment okay so remaining questions we'll discuss in the next video